All right, so if you've seen the recent video that we uploaded about the Mi 11X and MIUI 14 with Android 13, it's really exciting because they made quite a few changes and it's fluid, it's, it's better basically. And a lot of people these days on the Poco X3 Pro are using custom ROMs and might think of coming back to MIUI 14, right? So this is what this video is about. There is a port from Mi 11X to this particular device. We're going to install it in this video. This is my first experience with MIUI 14 and Android 13 on this device as well. So maybe after a couple of days, I'll try to do a review. But before we get into the details, if you haven't already, please subscribe because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. Now, without further ado, hello, awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. MIUI R3000, MIUI 14, 14.0. Whatever that is the latest version in Mi 11X. Build date is the 12th of December 2022. So just yesterday, initial port MIUI 14 ported from Poco F3 or Mi 11X. This is MIUI China, debloated system. The full change log is going to be long. Okay, now let's talk about the known bugs before we actually install this. NFC is not working, not my concern. I don't use NFC that much. Safety net fails, big concern because if you want to use banking application, safety net is important. Shows Android 12 instead of Android 13. Ignore this, will be fixed in next build, okay? MIUI camera crashes after taking multiple photos. Use third party camera. Okay, now I just finished shooting a video of MIUI 13 with Android 13 and that ROM had this problem as well. Looks like we're gonna have the same problem on this ROM as well, but that's okay. You know, let's, let's actually go ahead and install it and let's see how good it is. Now, this of course is MIUI, so you don't really need firmware or anything else. You just need to flash this from TWRP and you should be good to go. The usual checklist is, you know, just fine. That is, you have to back up your data, make sure your phone is more than 50% battery. You need to have an unlocked bootloader along with, of course, TWRP. You need the ROM file, which in my case is on the card reader over here. And then you should be good to go. Remove your lock screen, password, fingerprint, pin, and reboot the device after removing your Google account and MIUI account. Now that's a lot of things, but I say it every day, so I'm used to it, and you should be taking care of these. Now, once you've done all of that, we can, you know, actually press an old volume up and power and keep it pressed and till the time you boot into TWRP, just wait, okay? The moment you see the POCO logo, just release the buttons and bam, you should have TWRP right there. All right, let's go to wipe, advanced wipe. Now, Dalvik data cache. Don't wipe internal storage if your files are there. My files are not there, so I'm gonna wipe internal storage, okay? Now, once all of this is wiped, you can choose to go to install, select storage and mine is micro SD or USB OTG and over here this is the file swipe to confirm flash now this is a Poco X3 Pro so flashing is relatively simple with the Poco X3 Pro and the Redmi Note 10 Pro it's uh, very complicated on the Mi 11X with the A and B partitions now this of course is a MIUI ROM which is around 3 to 4 gigabytes so it will definitely take anywhere between 25 seconds to 2 minutes so please be patient and keep looking what's going on just make sure you're not getting any errors here. All right, now, as you can see at the screen, there are no errors, everything is just fine. Now, just to be safe, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do wipe, format data and type in yes, okay, and then reboot system. Now, this is the MIUI ROM and the first boot should take two to three minutes, but the moment you see the MIUI boot logo, keep the power button pressed till the device reboots. That is a trick which will allow you to quickly boot into MIUI. All right, we have the boot animation, so press and hold the power button and keep it pressed till the time it goes away. All right, now, as you can look at the screen, we are on MIUI 14, so that's a good thing. I'm quickly going to skip the setup part here. All right, we are on the home screen now. So let's see here. Yeah, this definitely looks like MIUI 14. I had my doubts when I read that it says Android 12 and stuff like that. So yeah, if you get a prompt like this that you have an update, don't because this is from another device. And does that mean my Mi 11X has an update as well? I'll quickly check. Anyways, uh, let's let's actually go to my device and uh, detail info and specs. It says Android 12, but let's see what the Easter egg has to say. Yeah, it's actually Android 13, which in my opinion is a good thing. And uh, let's let's see what apps we have here. We have absolutely no bloatware, and we do have Get Apps, which will allow you to install Google Play and stuff like that. The camera bug, yes, it was mentioned. So let's actually move to the front camera here and let's try to, okay, it does crash. So 
you'll have to use some third party application so all in all this was a quick step by step guide of installing MIUI 14 on the Poco X3 Pro it was pretty easy i will try to use it and if i don't find it much different from android 13 with MIUI 13 i probably will not do a review about it and we'll wait for like proper MIUI 14 in which everything is working for now this is kalash signing off at phone ops i'll see you in the next one keep smiling take care goodbye